I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas, and we're here today with the Mini Arc Rogue, uh, video number two. So, a couple of different things. We're going to answer some questions uh, today, and what we're going to go over is the secondary menu. We're going to go over the carrying case and how the, this Mini Arc fits inside that carrying case. We're going to go over the TIG torch from ESOB that fits the Mini Arc. And then we're also going to weld with this unit, and we're going to put it to the test and run a 150 foot extension cord outside see if we can uh, strike an arc with it. We're going to just stick weld with it out there. And also we have the new United We Weld uh, ESOB A51 Sentinel, which is a pretty sweet logo. We're going to talk about that here. But let's dive into this secondary menu here. So on the mini arc, you can see we got stick, which is a 7018 setting. We have the 6010 setting, and then we have the TIG setting. So uh, one of the questions was how do you get into the secondary menu to change your hot start and then your arc force so your hot start well, we'll jump right into it so what you do is you're on you got 85 or 110 amps all you need to do is hold the button down and there's your hot start and then you can adjust from 10 i think it goes all the way down to negative 10 and then you press it again there's your arc force and that goes all the way up to 10 and all the way down to negative 10. so and then to get back to your amperage setting, right back there. So then you toggle down again, there's your 6010, just hold down, hot start, arc force, get back to it, to your amperage right there. Then you go down to the TIG, there is no secondary menu for the TIG, but uh, no big deal there. So that, that's just how you get into the secondary menu on the Mini Arc Rogue series. All right, let's hop into this case here. I'm gonna shut this unit off. I'm gonna show you how it fits inside there. So inside this case, it actually has a custom fit um, foam piece. It's actually pretty nice. It's a, it's a pretty durable case. It's actually light. And you can see it's got your custom fit foam. So how this unit fits. Just kind of mangle the cord a little bit. Get it all in there sits down inside that foam and then you can straddle the edges with your ground clamp something similar like that there you go you got your mini arc robe right in there all fit inside the case, and that's with everything that it came with, right? Your stinger and your ground, and then the mini arc. Um, I didn't put the extension in there, but it should fit up nice. So let's pull this back out. It fits pretty nice. It's actually a really nice case for an accessory to have. So let's jump onto the TIG torch here. So ESOB launched this, it's a 17 series TIG torch that fits the Mini Arc. Uh, just one thing that you gotta remember, it'll fit any 17 series consumables. So if you already have a 17 series torch, you don't have to change your consumables. But this unit did not come with consumables. It does come with a back cap, but no tungsten collet or collet body or nozzles, a ceramic nozzle. Let's give this a try. I'm going wrapped up. Now, remember there is not a solenoid in this machine, so you got your gas hookup that goes into the bottom of your regulator. You got your DENS connection, goes into the negative stud, and then it has a gas valve. So when you turn your gas on, you set your flow, you open, you crack your gas valve set your flow. But you can see it's just a, it's called the genuine Heliarc TIG torch. So it's that older style, smaller body, uh, easier to grip, manipulate. It's not too bad. We're going to get it set up here and uh, give it a shot. All right, so we got the TIG torch set up. We got it pulled out, got our consumables in, got a piece of steel. I'm going to show up the uh, setup here. So right here we have our TIG torch and our gas line. Now, you can buy cover. Uh, we'll link it below as an accessory. Did not come with it. 
but there's a sleeve cover it's a 12 and a half foot torch so you can uh, cover this up we got it hooked up to our flow meter we got our 50 millimeter dense connection we're going to plug it into the negative terminal and then we got our ground 50 millimeter also we're going to plug into the positive we're going to toggle down the tig and we'll just start out with 90 amps we'll see how that how that welds um, grab my hood here and we'll I'll show you how the lift arc works on this unit and we'll go from there all right so we got the TIG torch got, got the new Sentinel here um, we're gonna give it a shot I think I got 90 amps set up so on lift arc what you want to do is you you want to touch off touch to the plate pull up and that initiates the arc between the thing but before you do that make sure your gas flows on we got about 30 cubic feet per hour coming through there, so um, I'll show you here. You just come down, cut, pull up, and that's how you initiate the arc. And then you just pull up, and it distinguishes the arc. Now one thing you got to remember, shut your gas off. So on this unit, always remember to kill, shut your valve off because I, uh, you can leave it run and then you run out of gas. So if you're used to an automatic solenoid, um, just be aware that, that that gas will not shut off unless you shut it off. So I got a little project here. Um, there's one an extra little all thread piece to what seems to be a bracket here. We're just gonna weld them two ends together. we're going to do is we're just going to tack it and then I'll make sure we got it flat. I'll tack it and then we'll turn the machine on. Alright, so we're going to turn our gas on. I just wanted to hold the two pieces together, make sure we had everything straight. Looks like we do. And we'll, I'll go ahead and I'll finish this thing out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start it and then roll it as I go. Put the amperage down a little bit. So there we go, we, we just stuck another piece of all thread on the end. One of the mechanics just needed to lengthen that bracket up. I think that should work. No, no filler metal, we just autogenously welded that thing. So we just fused the two together. It's not holding anything crazy, it's just, it just needed to be a little bit longer. So we'll go see if, try that out and see if it works. But all in all, I mean, that, that little TIG torch ain't bad. I like, uh, now right, there's no finite adjustment, so there's no foot pedal. Um, you can get a hand remote, but I like it. Just set it and forget it. And if you know what you're welding and you know what amperage to run, it works out perfect. So what we're gonna do next is uh, try this thing at 150 feet on a 110 extension cord. So let's see if this thing will work. We're gonna go outside and uh, we'll give it a shot. Okay, we got 150 foot of extension cord, we're on 110. Um, we're gonna go give it a shot and see if it works. 
so as you can see we got we got it strung out here in the yard i got some 6010 i got some 7018 um, we're going to give it a shot and see if it'll run both of them it's a pretty nice day out today we're gonna we got our uh, shade umbrella here too we're gonna weld underneath the umbrella I said 110. Turn it in. Turn it down. 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 Turn it We'll give that 6010 a shot. We're gonna try 80. Right, we'll, we'll bump it up to 90. We'll see what we can do. On so we're on 6010. Like I said, that's a 6010 electrode here. There it welds, and we're 150 foot on 110 right now, um, and we're running 6 to 10 round. Now you might have saw it cut out a couple of times. That was my fault. I was long arcing it. Let me just see. that whole electrode up so that was that's perfect i mean nothing no breakers trip nothing happened we're all we're still going you can see the fan kicked on that's at 90 amps we're at 150 feet on 110 that's pretty impressive and the arc on it is really pretty crisp with that rod i mean it's, it's nice now right, we're gonna go back we're gonna do i got 332 Let's bump around 100 let's just see what it does at 100 amps on 7018 There we finished out that electro too. And that thing really uh, ran it really pretty nice, and the arc start on it's really nice too. I'm, that's impressive. I, it's a nice machine. Now again, we're 150 feet away. We're on a 20 amp breaker, so we do have a little bit heavier duty breaker. We got a little bit heavier duty gauge extension cord, but other than that, it's it run great. Let me shut it down here. So all in all, I mean, the unit ran pretty darn good. You can see 150 foot on 110, uh, very impressive. So 
I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, if you got any questions, comments, leave them down below and we'll do our best. We're gonna link the TIG Torch consumable kits, that sort of thing down below also. Um, we're gonna just leave comments, questions, we'll answer them all. All right, thanks for watching, stay tuned for more.